Good afternoon and welcome to the news update on Galaxy Television. I'm Solomon Offem. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, on Wednesday conditionally suspended its strike ending a protracted industrial action that started since March 2020. The union said the suspension of the strike takes effect from Thursday, December 24, 2020. ASU National President Biodun Oguyemi made the announcement during a briefing of the union in Abuja explaining that the development followed the agreement reached by the federal government and a meeting with its National Executive Council, NAC, while warning that the union would return to strike without notice if the government fails in meeting its part of the agreement reached with the university lecturers. Oguyemi noted that the reopening of the schools considering the COVID-19 pandemic lies with the federal government and the Senate of the universities. Professor Gunyemi thanked students and their parents for their understanding throughout the nine-month period and said no amount of strike will be too much to get the matter resolved as long as the government is consistent with its commitment. President Madbari says Nigeria has moved a step closer to the nation's dream of full utilization of the nation's abundant gas potentials. Speaking at the commissioning of the Integrated Gas Handling Facility and LPG Processing and Dispensing Plant built and operated by the Nigerian Petroleum Development Commission, an upstream subsidiary of NNPC in Oredo. Edo State. President Barris said the Oredo uh, Integrated Gas Handling Facility uh, and its associated NGLS depot will be delivering uh, 240,000 metric tons of commercial grade liquefied petroleum gas and propane. He said the plant will also deliver about 205 million standard cubic feet per day of the lean gas to the domestic market. The president remarked that the project was a follow-up to the commitment of the administration towards making the year 2020 Nigeria's year of the gas. At the turn of the year 2020, this administration made solemn declarations to the Nigerian public over its plans to expand the gas sector footprints by scaling up the development and utilization of Nigeria's abundant natural gas resources. President Mohamed Bari has extended the mandate of the Presidential Task Force PTF on COVID-19 for a further period to the end of March 2021, bearing in mind the new surge in the number of cases and the bid for vaccines. The president disclosed this Tuesday in Abuja while receiving the end-of-year report of the task force. According to President Bwari, recent report reaching him indicates that Nigeria is now facing a rise in confirmed COVID-19 cases nationwide, which is similar to the second wave of infections occurring in other countries across the world. The president added that the nation is clearly in a perilous situation given the uh, virulent nature of the second wave and that the country must act decisively to protect the people. The president urged all sub-national entities, traditional rulers, religious and leaders of thought to collaborate with the PTF by taking up the responsibility for risk communication and community engagement at all levels, and that now is the time for collective effort to be intensified. And that's the news update. But for more update and latest news, visit our website, galaxytvonline.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash galaxytv Nigeria. You can follow and interact with us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash galaxytv, or tweet us at galaxytv. Don't forget to follow and tag us on our Instagram page at galaxytv news. You can also avail our eyewitness feature via WhatsApp. If you have breaking news around you, simply share your story by sending short clips or videos of the news on 0818-6666-669. Our social media platforms are user-friendly 
I can always accommodate your life updates and comments. Uh, thanks for watching. I am Solomon of M. Do join us again at 6.30 for a full news bulletin. Good afternoon.